In Romans 13, Paul equated obeying the law of Moses with loving one's neighbor. Many people think that Paul rejected the Mosaic law and replaced it with something new, so his actual position might be quite surprising. Romans 13, verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Paul quoted from Exodus 20, verses 13 through 17, which prohibits murder, adultery, stealing, and coveting within the Ten Commandments. He equated these statutes and any other commandment with the requirement to love your neighbor as yourself, found in Leviticus 19, verse 18 which is also part of the Torah. Paul didn't come up with this teaching on his own. He was restating the teaching of Jesus. Matthew 22, verse 34. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Jesus equated the entire Old Testament with the two great commandments to love God first and love your neighbor as yourself. Many scholars have pointed out that the Ten Commandments can be divided into two parts. The first four commandments tell us how to love God, and the last six show us how to love our neighbor. They are connected by the fifth commandment, which tells us to honor our human parents, and by extension, our Heavenly Father as well. Paul wasn't the only apostle to teach that the Torah tells Christians how to love God and love one's neighbor. 1 John 5, verse 2. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. So John was also equating love for God, and love for one's neighbor with keeping the law of Moses. Some people claim that John meant the commandments of Jesus, but that argument fails for two reasons. First, the context of 1 John 5 shows that the phrase, His commandments, refers to God the Father, not Jesus, so there is no basis for limiting His commandments to the teachings of Jesus. Second, in Matthew 5, verses 17 through 20, Jesus commanded his disciples to teach and keep the law of Moses, which is exactly what Paul and John did. Romans 13, verse 9, is just one piece of evidence. Passage after passage shows that the Torah is God's basic definition of right and wrong for all humanity. Jesus expected his disciples to teach and keep the Mosaic Law, and the apostles affirmed the authority of the Torah throughout the New Testament. So the Law of Moses is still relevant as a guide for proper Christian behavior.